everybody. Good morning. How are we all doing? Hello. Sunshine. Isn't that lovely? Sunshine in Cornwall. Um, it has to be said, um, you've probably noticed I like sunshine. Um, it always makes me so much happier. And I think, to be fair, it probably does the same for the majority of us, doesn't it? Cheers life up, makes it all good and, and, and going on. Right, so... Just a brief witter today, because you had a long witter yesterday while I was explaining things. So I'm going to show you my homework. It's my little housey block. There's mine. All done. Okay. So I appliqued on a few extra things. I did the windows by applique, um, Bond web applique. And I have to say, I put on a few grassy bits in the hope that that would sort of make it look a little bit like the applique block we did the other day. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but if we put the two next to each other, I need a bigger chest. There we go. How's that? They sort of work, don't they? Um, the one will go next to the other in the quilt, I'm thinking, or at least they'll balance each other up because you, the grass is a totally different action to the rest of the block so far. <coughs> Excuse me. So that sort of ties it in and I've used the same fabric again um, the grass fabric um, to make sure that they balance so it's, it's all a little bit about thinking what have I placed where fabric placement where is it your color your design how does it balance all right um, if you're not at all sure just go for it that's always good um, if you like it who am I or anybody else to say anything about it so when you've done that and we get all our blocks together later on we can then worry about how that balances and what we can put as the sashing to make it all draw together and look lovely okay so that was mine i'll put a photo of that as i say up on um the facebook page patchwork with dreams all right so that's that one done there okay so it is a double snuggle day today one of my favorite blocks of double snuggle today block eight beach huts I love beach huts, nothing better than beach huts and a bit of sunshine. How good is that? Um, on this, the, the way this one has been done, um, the bottom half of this block, so where all the beach hut houses ye are, that's just a strip of rectangles all joined together. And then that's been joined to a strip of blue, which is the sky. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. All right, and then these the huts the, the the huts the roofs of the huts are appliqued on after and also the little circles or you could have i've put some um bunting in there flags I've got some seagulls going on <coughs> you could put all sorts on there go for it all right just because i've done a few bits doesn't mean to say you can't do an awful lot all right and do mix up all the fabrics that you've been using within the quilt so far and any that you think you might it's an opportunity again to infiltrate a few more fabrics that you might need further on all right but mix them all up make them all bright and happy okay as much on there as you want to be doing so that's double snuggle if you if you need the pattern for that it's over on abbyann.com on my blog all right go backwards in the archives until you get to block eight i think it's probably at about june july august september november probably about december last year november december last year you'll probably find that in the archives all right so there we go. Um, so that's the two briefly things. I am just going to point out um, and, and update you that if anybody needs what the hex, um, that I think was block six of what we're doing now. Pull that back so you can see it. Um, block six. I have just got a couple of these left. If not, more can be, be sent to you via Andy, which is lovely. So if anybody needs those, please do go onto my um, website, abbyand.com, and you'll find them on there. Um, postage is free on this okay as a special there we are now yesterday i introduced you to my booklet of deco days that i'd spent ages doing and and it is the the quilt behind me it was a bomb uh, a mystery bomb block of the month bomb being block of the month um since then um a couple of people who have requested to join the other um block of the month that was um dragonfly quilt okay that also was a mystery at one point of which there is now a pattern pack as well 
Um, the actual, when I say they requested to join, um, I, I set up Facebook groups as help and support for people that have bought the pattern. So in order to join that group, you need to have bought the pattern. OK, um, that is, again, available over on abbyann.com. Um, and I can post that out to you, no problem. As I say, I take me exercise down to down. Today, the post goes at 12 o'clock. So um, it stands a chance now. Anything that, that's sold over the weekend, I'll post to you for Monday evening. It will go in the six o'clock post Monday evening. OK, so um, please bear with me on that. But that's Dragonfly Quilt. That's the pack. In there again, you've got um, a booklet, full on booklet with photos and what to, how to. And you've got 18 odd sheets of A3 um, print for your patterns. OK, so that you've got everything there ready to kick off with. And again, it's one that you can either use your stash and your scraps or I like to call them stash and scrap quilts or designs, I should say. Um, or you can go out and buy all sorts of loveliness. And again, I'd look at all the nice little bits and pieces or maybe cross patch or something like that. Or um, I know Rachel over in Sonosa at Sewing Fabric, she's got all sorts of things going on over there as well. So you, you're looking at loveliness and scraps and things, OK? So they're both available if you want. Right, OK, so sorry. Didn't mean to labour that point, but it was just I know people have asked to join. You need to have bought that in order to join the group. OK. Right, so that's that done, that's that done, that's that done, that's that done done that as well oh said it was going to be a quick wisher today um friends have you spoken to your friends have you messaged them um technically it is the weekend even though it probably seems like it's all one day gone on and on and on and on and on or it has done for me um i really am losing track of where i am and who i am a little bit or maybe not who i am but certainly where i am um and what day of the, the week it is but have a lovely weekend talking to your friends. Just make sure they're all OK. Um, tidy. I'm not I'm not saying a word. <laughs> I've not. I have no intention of this weekend. Um, yeah. So there we go. My my heap will remain my heap. Um, exercise again. Yeah. Up and around the garden. Sometimes out. Away from your sewing machine at least every 20 minutes, please. Otherwise, you get all your back and everything, neck, feet stretched. Everything's not good. And don't forget, when you get up and leave your sewing machine, I've said this before, I'll say it again, do turn off. Um, write down what, what your settings are for your stitch that you're doing in case you need it again. But do turn off your sewing machine because you're burning out the bulbs and things and you're just putting undue pressure on these things that you don't need to. All right. So with that, I'm going to say have a happy day. Um, thank you all for um, following and doing. I think this is fantastic. I'm seeing so many photos and getting loads and loads of comments from all, all over the place, be it um, messages, emails, um, on YouTube, on Facebook, all sorts. It's lovely. You're all getting into the feel of it. And I so appreciate that. OK, so see you over on YouTube. Do subscribe um, and have a happy day. I'm coming around to turn you all off.